Hello and welcome to another episode of Learning OS 10. Today we're going to talk about fonts. A reader recently submitted a question about installing new fonts into his system. He had recently migrated over from Windows and there were some fonts that he liked using in Windows and were not available to him uh, installed by default uh, on his uh, Mac. So he wants to know how he can install fonts on his system. Installing fonts is uh, pretty simple. It's done with an application called Fontbook. Uh, and Fontbook lets you install, remove, view, organize, validate, enable, and disable fonts in your system. Uh, the Mac comes with a, a bunch of uh, pre-built fonts, but as I said, you can install uh, your own fonts as well. Uh, so Fontbook is located in the Applications folder. Um, you can uh, find it there. I'm going to just use my favorite system launcher launch bar. And we're going to just type font and launch Fontbook. So on the left-hand side of Fontbook, you can see what's called the collection column. And it basically shows all the installed fonts by category. Right? So if you go down this list here, you can see all the different categories of fonts. Right? These are your collections. You can create your own collections. So these are all the fonts. These are user installed fonts, and we'll, we'll get to this in a second. All right, and then these are the fonts that are installed by the computer. Or, I'm sorry, when you when you purchase your your Mac. So how do you add a new font into the system? So if you click here, I've downloaded a font. And fonts are available uh, for free and uh, for purchase. Uh, you know, in a, in a number of locations uh, online, and I'll, I'll share some in the uh, post itself. So here I've downloaded a, a font, uh, Beat My Guest. It's a horror-themed font. And to install the font, you just double-click on it. When you double-click on it, you'll see a preview of the font. And you can see here that it's not installed. You click the button. Oh, well, in this case, it actually was installed. <laughs> so we're going to install it again. And it shows up under User. You can see here. Beat my guest. Now that font is available for you to use in you know any application that has uh, you know that uses system fonts. So once it's installed, you may decide that you don't want to use it anymore, and you can remove it uh, just by clicking on it and clicking remove. That removes the font from your system. You can see the user collection went away over here. I'll quickly install that again. Install font. This time we won't see that error pop up. There we go. It shows up under user. So the other thing you can do is you can organize uh, some of your favorite fonts into collections. So you do that by going into the file menu and you can say new collection, new smart collection. Uh, if you've used any other, if you've used iTunes or other uh, Mac applications, uh, this this should be familiar to you. So let's create a new collection. We'll call that favorites. All right. So in favorites, you can take fonts, drag them into a collection here. You can search for a font up here. I'm a fan of copper plate. We can add that to the favorites, and it's a way to just more easily organize uh, the collection on, uh, you know, of your favorite fonts. The other thing you can do is create a smart collection. So here, there's a smart collection of just English language fonts, right? And we can create another smart collection. We'll call this uh, smart collection two, or italic, right? Style name is Let's see if this works here. And we've just created a collection, although it didn't save the name. We'll rename this here. Of only italic fonts. Now, sometimes you may want to disable certain fonts in your system. So if we go 
into the system font. Let's see if I can find an example. So here's an example of a font that I'm not going to use on a, on a regular basis. Um, and I don't want it to show up in my uh, applications that, that use fonts just because it's going to clutter the menu. So I can right click on the font and click disable. And as you can see here, the font will not be available to other applications. So we click disable. You can see there that the font is turned off. So that's it. That's a font book for, for Mac OS X. If you have any other questions about using your Mac, you can sign up for the mailing list at learningosx.com and uh, ask me a question. And some questions will be featured in future posts if it's uh, questions that I hear about uh, fairly, fairly often. So that's it. Thanks for, uh, for watching, and we'll see you soon.